Hi there, my name is Christina Jimenez, Director of Product Marketing at Coalesce, and today we're going to learn how to parse JSON and XML with just a handful of clicks using our Visual Data Transformation platform. So let's dive in. In my Snowflake account, you can see that I've run some SQL in two different worksheets to load some sample JSON and XML data for us to play with. Now let's switch over to Coalesce and open up my development workspace in my default project. I'm going to click the gear icon in the lower left-hand corner to open up my build settings. We'll create two new storage locations and name them JSON and XML. By setting this up, we're making sure that Coalesce taps into the correct sample data that I just mentioned. Once I've created those storage locations, we're going to adjust our workspace settings by clicking the pencil icon in the upper left-hand corner. Now we need to map to the storage locations that we just created. So under storage mappings, we're going to select the COLA sample database next to our JSON and XML storage locations. We'll select weather as our schema for our JSON mapping and XML for our XML mapping. Now let's click back to the browser tab and click the nodes icon in the left sidebar. We'll add data sources by clicking the plus icon next to the search bar and select our raw JSON and XML and then add those sources to our graph in the form of nodes. So those two source nodes have been added to our graph, and now we can click Fetch Data at the bottom right hand of the corner in the Data Preview pane to see the raw data in these nodes. So let's select both of these nodes and right click to create stage nodes on top of them so we can start parsing the data. Let's take a look at our JSON stage node first. If we right click on the first column, we'll see that we have the option to derive mappings in the drop down menu that appears. And for this node, we're gonna click on From JSON. Now when we do this, Coalesce creates a column in the mapping grid for every primitive type that appears, whether it's a string, number, boolean, null, within this particular object, and it includes the appropriate transform to parse every value. Coalesce is also flattening every JSON array using a table function in the join tab that you see here. So now let's click the create button to create our stage node, and then click the run button to populate it. We can check the DDL and DML statements that were used to create and run our stage node, and we can also view the results below in our data preview pane. Coalesce also offers XML parsing capabilities, and this workflow is virtually the same thing as what we just walked through with our JSON data. And you can see that doing this in Coalesce saves you a ton of time and effort. If you're interested in learning more about our semi-structured data parsers, you can check out our documentation using the link on the screen. That's all I have for you today, but I'll see you next time and happy transforming.